If a guy is 30 minutes late to your very first date and later you ask him why he was late and he says, because I subscribe to the alpha male lifestyle and the date starts when I get there, what is your response? I have a local radio station that does a bit Monday through Friday called Second Date Update. Someone calls in, says, hey, I went on a date with someone. I had a really good time, but I never heard back. And then the radio station will call the other person to get all the tea. So typically I summarize these for you guys, but today we're just going to listen to it together because no way will my summary do this episode justice. There was no acknowledgement that he was late and like you and said, he didn't even apologize or, or give an excuse like he had a flat tire or something. Yeah, not on that. And because of that, that's why he didn't contact him after the date? Yeah. Can we bring him in on this conversation just to kind of hear his side of that night? Sure. Okay, Here we Adam, go. are you there? Yeah, yeah, what's up? Did you hear what Marla said, that you were late by 30 minutes? Yeah, I heard that. First of all, you should know I subscribe to the tenets of an alpha male, and an alpha never apologizes. That is a sign of weakness, and an alpha like me is assertive and doesn't bow down. What? Oh. Are you serious? <laughs> what? You don't even know where I was or what I was doing. That's not your business on a first date. You're obviously there because I'm attractive, desirable. At that point, stop the whining and start the date. Um, I don't think that it's bowing down oh my God. to explain to someone why you're late. That's just common courtesy. Just... No, I'm not late. Um, when, when I arrive, that's when the date starts, so I'm on time. What time was the date supposed to start, Adam? What time did you guys plan to meet? Look, you're getting into details that don't matter to me. I got there, the date started. Is it, are you, wow. what? Are you talking like that to Hawkeye now? <laughs> I, I honestly can't tell if you're doing a joke here. Are, I think are he's you being serious? dead fucking serious. Come 30 minutes late and you don't bother to even explain or apologize? What, what's the joke? You, you gotta realize this is the rules of dating an alpha. You you are not the reason that I stayed. I was there because my sister And was he's there, not so a I fucking alpha. Like, what? Sister. You have to tell people they you're an alpha? You're her. not an alpha. Stayed. You would have shown up to no one being there. Then you caught a break because I showed up while you were still there and then you got to go on a date with me. So <laughs> second date and to be honest it's kind of embarrassing for an alpha male to have to reach out yeah to get help from other sure people is. to get a second date an alpha is a leader of men and women there's nothing embarrassing i honestly can't tell if this guy is joking or know. what his deal oh, man is. adam you're really serious about all this yeah i'm totally serious this isn't just some philosophy it's a lifestyle and i live it all day every day can we ask what you do for a living yeah i'm in landscaping okay okay uh, our whole goal, Marla, was to see if you wanted a second date with Adam, we would pick up the tab. I don't know that we should So, that's, that's why I couldn't summarize that for you, because you just needed to hear it from the horse's mouth. Um, wow. What's your response to that? What's, what's your take? I don't know. Any man who calls himself an alpha male is not an alpha male. He was obviously a chad, though because he described himself as good looking and she did not object to it. The fact he tried to go through a radio show to get a second date from her just made himself look desperate. I don't know if he was being serious or trolling. Either way, he did not do himself any favors by going on the radio. Can Scorpio men leave me alone? Leave me the fuck alone. Everything! That speaks to me. Oh, when's your birthday? When's your birthday? November. The I don't want to hear it. November. Get the fuck all. End of October. Get the fuck all. Please leave it. Yeah. Leave it. Thank you. Goodbye. Guys, chivalry is actually dead. So let me explain why. I don't know if anyone else has noticed this, but like men don't help women in the tube or like on public transport anymore. Now let me explain real quick. So I feel like back in the day when women would struggle with like their buggies, pushchairs, 
like men would actually stop and help them, you know, carry up the stairs or wherever within the public transport sphere, right? <laughs> Whether that's helping them get onto the tube, getting them off the bus, off on the escalators, all that type of stuff. But I feel like men are just walking past now. And like us women are like actually helping the women. Like I see it happen all the time. Like men will literally walk straight past, like not even bat an eyelid, nothing. And I'm just like, damn, like, where's the chivalry gone? Uh, anyway, you know what? <laughs> there are two simple explanations for this. One, you accused men of being creeps for too long. So we just leave you alone now. Two, you said you are strong, independent, and don't need no man. Surely you can carry your own luggage. Do it yourself. 